Colport office closed due to COVID-19, proclamation of the mayor, or a political ploy. In Title Eight of the Borough Code of Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, it states in 10A06, emergency proclamation, and Section 4 of that statute. If the mayor considers that a state of emergency exists, the mayor may issue a proclamation which shall be in writing and posted in one or more conspicuous places and the contents of which shall be made available to all news media declaring a state of emergency for a period not to exceed seven days unless sooner rescinded modified or ratified or extended by resolution of council end of the statute on january 26th 2022 the honorable mayor of colport borough posted signage on the borough of colport's office entrance why the posting allegedly it was for covid 19. is there evidence the borough office has undisputed evidence that COVID-19 is in the borough office? Or, in the alternative, is the Honorable Mayor using her powers in a malicious manner to stop any organizing of the Colport Borough Council? There is a quorum of council, and the lawful organization can be completed. However, the Honorable Mayor is stonewalling and refusing to organize. The post office rent is due and council cannot pay this bill until the council organizes. The Glendale Fire Department insurances or compensation is near time for payment for the volunteers who sacrificially serve the borough of Colport. How can the mayor get away with not organizing council? Does the mayor of Colport have superpowers? A mayor in a borough has little to no powers in local government, according to Attorney Daniel J. Nelson, Esquire. Uh, can you do that? No, no I can't. No, no, he resigned. The, His name's off. I, I do think I'm the mayor anyone. still I retains the powers granted to the mayor within the mayor's be, section of the borough code. No, not at all. So we can still marry people. Uh, but beyond that, what's going on. Yeah, cause it, uh, she can do some yeah, or, or ordinance enforcement, and that type of thing. Those those powers to still walk with the with the office. But there will be decisions to be made, which she has no authority to make. So, what is the reason for Mayor Madalena refusing to organize council? Mayor denies an interview. Where is the progress? Where is WTAJ TV? Why no interviews of Mayor Madalena? Is there a secret government in the back room of Colport Borough? The mayor has a mandate in Borough Code 1003. The mayor shall organize council. Council does have a quorum of councilors. In regard to the question, one reason could be to overthrow the election's results and the will of the people. The election results were conclusive. The Honorable Andrew Scott Mangus, elected for a four-year term as councillor, is ready to move forward in the council organization. The Reverend Gerald W. Spade, Sr., elected to a four-year term as councillor, is ready to move forward in council organization. Without the organization, the business of the town is stopped. Council cannot pay bills. Needed functions are on hold. The safety of the borough is in harm's way. Former Council President Joseph D. Neveling said, We have never in the history of Colport Borough ever had a situation like this. The mayor has always organized council. Council has always organized. The Honorable Emeritus President Joseph D. Neveling served on council for 28 years. We need the mayor to show cause why she is not organizing council. 
The mayor needs to show cause why she shut down the office of the borough by February 1st, according to the borough code 10A06 shown above. Council can rescind her actions in seven days in a special meeting, but council is not organized. Is the mayor supporting a coup d'etat of local government? Are we starting to see the start of socialism in Colport Borough, whereby a self-appointed person sets up a government that one wants? Why should people vote in the borough of Colport when one person can stop government and proceed to overturn the local government free and fair elections are they going away in today's Colport Borough lo local government respectfully vision press production